This is a really inspirational build. I like when people don't create more garbage by buying new products designed to fail. But find old cool mopeds like this one and convert them using new tech that makes it even better and transform garbage into gold. This 70s two-stroke moped took one year to convert to electric. This builder used a skateboard-sized electric motor that was fitted inside this old engine, leaving two-speed gearbox inside. He chopped off the old crankshaft axle and drilled a hole into the shaft so the electric motor axle would fit directly into it. Removed all the excess so the motor fits inside perfectly, connecting the axle of the body with the aluminum adapter. The battery, 18 650 Tesla cells, salvaged from Model S, 12S 7P configuration, about 21 amp capacity, which comes to around 1 kilowatt of power. Wireless BMS that shows real-time charge of the cells, speed around 40 to 45 kilometers an hour, range estimated about 40 kilometers. Not bad for a local commuting bike, but still looking fantastic on a budget and the most important part, restoring and getting this classic bike back on the road. The second build is a DIY project that got so much attention that the builder decided to go into production. Initially the components used are very modest, but that's for temporary testing. After everything is completed, the frame will accommodate a 60 amp battery and iterations of 3 kW and 5 kW motors. You'll be able to choose whichever you like and make it into powerhouse. There are a lot of EV startups coming and this movement is catching more and more attention and followers since EV it's here to stay and offer more benefits, safety, comfort and fun for your daily use. I like that people find famous old models and restore them installing new available electric kits or make themselves all necessary hardware at home and share these projects. I would rather find an old frame that I like and install batteries and electric motor then buy a gas classic bike or modern zero or motorcycle. I find these conversions a must do and own. If you pick up one of these DIY projects, you'll be able to learn and fix or upgrade your ride at home. In case something goes wrong, you're pretty much eliminating going to a local service shop and make it yourself independent. Plus you get your hands dirty and you learn and get that feeling of making your own custom ride the way you like it. You get that feeling that doesn't compare to anything even when you buy your brand new ride. You create that bond with your own DIY project. To me, this is the best part that I like, using parts that are thrown away in a recycle center or sitting around in your friend's garage rusting, making it a weekend project that you can do with your friends or family members. The growth of the electric vehicle market has sparked a new trend that is coming from the DIY world. People take older vehicles that are busted and rip out the old engines and replace it with electric drivetrains. This is really catching up right now. Making an old bike to keep the look and performance like a modern day vehicle, but inspire similar emotions to the motorcycle that we've grown to love, rather than a boxy, futuristic aesthetic, I think is the way to go. This tilting Batman scooter is my favorite. For practicality and daily use, I would love to ride this e-bike. But for weekends, holidays or special events, I would definitely take this monster out. The attention to detail is insane. Right now it has a small battery with 36 volt system, but after talking with the builder, the system will be upgraded to 72 volts and 30 amp pack. So power will be there and you'll be able to do burnouts and more. The most insanely part of this story is that the builder works in a bank and has no engineering knowledge. This is his third DIY model. The design, modification and construction is unbelievable. I bet if you ask a reputable company to replicate this project, they will definitely struggle. This last DIY I think is the easiest and most convenient for daily commute and use. It is compact and really cool looking. It is made out of peat bike frame and you can find them on Craigslist or OfferUp for fairly cheap price and start a similar build. It has good specs, it is compact so parking will be easy and will not attract so much attention as a full size motorcycle. Looks comfortable and super nimble. Anyone will be able to drive it comfortably and with so much fun.
Only the controller looks here, it was purchased and used stock. Everything else here is just taken from older, maybe broken vehicles or parts that were repurposed. Anyone can find these components or similar pretty easy and put together the same or even better DIY. There's so many broken gassers out there that'll be harder and more expensive to fix, but taking the frame out and DIYing a little bit, the drivetrain and convert it to electric will be fun and rewarding. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of the DIY process, what will be your favorite DIY ride if you'll be able to choose. Please don't forget to share and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.